So I just got back from the homeschool convention about a week ago and I picked up some really good finds and I wanna share those things with you. Hey guys, it's Fani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm a homeschooling mom to three kids. I've been homeschooling since 2012 and I created this channel to help you guys on your homeschooling journey and make homeschooling less stressful and more engaging for your children. Today, I just wanna share with you some of the things that I got from the homeschool convention, the FPEA homeschool convention a couple weeks ago. Right, the first thing I wanna share with you guys are these little devotionals. Now they had all kinds of different topics, which I thought were really cool. Not only did they have different topics, like for example, like this one is work unto the Lord. Um, they also had a booklet for each age range. This is the junior one. They had one for like early readers. They had one for middle schoolers and one for high schoolers. And then they had the parent guide. So this is just for my son and I to do the work unto the Lord. So I'll show you what's inside. It has the journal and then there's some stickers in here as well. So this is inside the junior workbook. They're all created similar. They just have, um, if it's for, t you know, the different ages, they're probably just going to word things a little differently, maybe have a little bit of different activities. But in here, you also get these Bible verse cards that have that talk about whatever the topic is. So because ours is about work, this is about working unto the Lord. And they're cards that I guess you can put up. There's a bookmarker here that you can also color. There are priorities here that your child will learn about and write and about doing extra things that he can do for fun. And then there's some little stickers here as well. So in this specific study, it talks about go to the ant, the gift of work, what is work, who is called to work, God has uniquely gifted us to work, and all different types of things they're going to teach your child how to be diligent, how to take initiative, how to have integrity, how to work with a joyful spirit. And this is great if you have a child who gives you a hard time with chores or, and things like that because if a child is lazy and doing their daily chores and their daily habits and things like that, um, I believe it's going to carry into their teenagehood and then eventually into adulthood. So every day there is a lesson. There's opportunities for them to draw pictures. They have little questions they're able to answer. And it's, so it's two page, it looks like it's about two pages per day. And then the adult is to study the same topic with the child so that they can have conversations with the child. So in the parent's guide, it's the same thing, but in the beginning it tells you how to use the Bible study. And then you have your own Bible study on the exact same topic. That way when you have, after your devotional, your child does their devotional, or your children do their devotionals, you guys can have a family conversation about it. These are some chapter books that I got for my son for his summer reading. And they are written by Brian Davis, who is an American Christian fantasy author. And this series is called Wanted Superheroes. So you have Wanted, a superhero to save the world, Hurts to be a superhero, and anti-gravity heroes. These books are about a kid named Eddie Hertz, who's a 12-year-old genius, and he patrols the streets of Nirvana. Of course, there's a bad guy, and he relies on his Batman-style gadgets and belt and acrobatic skills, as well as street smarts and ingenuity to defeat him, along with the help of his little sister. You also have some images in here, which I know my son likes when there's a couple of pictures. You also have some pictures in here, which I know my son likes when he's reading these chapter books. One fun thing I got for my kids were these two books of mazes. Now in the convention, they had a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of different mazes. And I got this ancient treasure mazes from my son, who is 10. So they're a little bit challenging. And then there's a little sentence down here that talks about like the picture so it says a valuable roman coin was carelessly dropped centuries ago into a tangle of rusting chains only a careful excavation of piles of worthless metal will produce the reward of this precious bounty and then for my five-year-old i got this little zoo animal mazes these are little books and she can also color that would keep the kids busy give them something to do if we're taking a car ride somewhere 
or any, you know, whatever. These are always fun. Now we just got ourselves a little puppy, a little puppy Yorkie. So I got this book, which is a kid's guide to dogs. And it says, learn my body language, train me, teach me tricks, play games with me, keep me out of trouble, make me toys and treats, and help keep me healthy. So those are some of the things that your kids will find in here to learn all about their new pet. There's some trivia, talks about the different breeds. There's a chore chart. We're definitely gonna go through this this summer. Talks about different doggy beds and all kinds of different things. And there's also different uh, ways to train your dog. Next, I got these timeline classics. It says, could Darwin have celebrated his theory of evolution with a glass of champagne? Was the electric iron invented before or after the first human journeyed into outer space? To win this game, be the first to correctly place all of your cards. Combine this game with other timeline sets for more fun and challenge. So it comes in a little canister and then the cards are teeny weeny. I haven't opened them up yet. Now my son is playing basketball as part of, I guess you could call it PE and also for him to just get exposure to other kids who are not necessarily homeschooled, um, just to be able to play on a team sport and for many of different types of reasons. But anyway, sometimes he doesn't want to play. So I figured getting him a little book, a uh, basketball book that he can read over the summer might help him out. It's a bit of an easy read, which is always good to throw in some easy reads to your kids, um, help them enjoy reading and he can just devour this book probably in a day or two. I also got this dream journal. He has been asking for a dream journal because he has some crazy dreams. And this is a write and draw your dreams, a journal for kids, so it's pretty cool. Um, you write the date, how it felt, and about your dream, and then they can draw a picture of it. Now I had seen this ad um, online somewhere. And then I met the people who created this book at the convention and it's a thousand hours outside and this is the activity book. So this gives you a bunch of activities to do with your kids outside because we always try to have our kids play outside more. And some of our kids are just not outside kids. Um, and sometimes they'll play and then they run out of ideas. So this gives us some fantastic ideas, simple ideas with things that you guys, that we can find outside or that we already have in our home, like paint, um, twigs and things like that. And in the corner, it tells you how long that activity is going to take. And it just gives you everything else, the supplies, the instructions. And then you have these beautifully, beautiful, beautiful, photographs here to show you how they're made and what they are. One of the units that we are going to be doing this upcoming school year, we were going to do it in the summer, but plans have changed, is the study of ancient Greece. My son has been reading the Percy Jackson series of Greek mythology. And so this is one of those history packets from uh, Evan Moore, which I've never tried before, and I'm excited about it. It has an introduction to ancient Greece, talks about the military pow power, daily life, government, religion, work and school, and there's maps and timelines, arts and crafts, reading and writing connections, and evaluation forms. So there's all kinds of different activities that we can do. Let's zoom this out. Seeing there's things that they can cut out. Um, there's even pages for a lap book, I believe, in here. So, Evan Moore has tons of history pockets. All right, so the last thing I wanna share with you guys is this Simply Charlotte Mason Laying Down the Rails Habit Training Companion. So I know a lot of you guys have heard of or own the Laying Down the Rails book, and I've had it for so many years, and I love the idea of the habit training, but I don't know how to use the book or how to, I need some guidelines, you know? So I found this, and I was really excited about it. I had no idea that, that they made this. It's book one and two, and it has, little lessons to incorporate. So if you are trying to teach your child about, I don't know, like uh, order, you have a parent prep section here, you have a little lesson, um, and there's different lessons, lesson two, lesson three, and it also does have some of the original text in here 
from the first companion guide. But there's different things to read to the kids and different things to discuss with them. So I thought this was awesome. So now we're definitely going to be implementing some habit training into our homeschool this homeschool year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.